is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Hey everybody, welcome back to Calvary's Kids Sunday School Place with Miss Kelly. That's me. Thanks for joining me and I hope you've had a great start to your morning and are all ready for today's lesson. Shall we pray? Dear Lord, we're so grateful for another chance to come together, hear your word, and learn of you on this day that you have made by your awesome power. We thank you, God, for all who are here. Please bless our time together with open ears, hearts, and minds. Amen. Thanks again for praying with me. Today's lesson is all about how Joshua leads Israel. And in the lesson, we'll learn that God's followers have nothing to fear because God is with those who obey him, just like Joshua, who God chose to lead the people of Israel after the death of Moses. So today's scripture comes from the book of Joshua, chapter one, verses one through 18. And in it, we're introduced to a man named Joshua, right? So who was Joshua? Let's take a quick look and see just a little bit more information, quick information about Joshua. This is Joshua. Joshua was a pretty amazing guy. He was a warrior, a spy, a leader, and a war general. So he did a lot. Joshua was born in Egypt when God's special family, the Israelites, were still slaves. In other words, they weren't free. But God had a special place for them called the Promised Land, and Joshua would be one of only two Israelites to make it there. Joshua was the right-hand man, basically the second in command, to a guy named Moses for 40 years. Moses was pretty important too. And when Moses died, Joshua was picked to take over leading the Israelites. So. Joshua led and took care of the Israelites for 30 years. He was the one in charge when the Israelites finally got to start living in the land God had promised them. That was a really big deal. And maybe Joshua was scared of being in charge of something so huge. But God told Joshua, be strong, be courageous, do not be afraid, I am with you. Joshua spent his whole life chasing after the promises God had made. Joshua didn't give up, and God never gave up on Joshua. So that's right. Joshua was the next leader after Moses, chosen by God to lead the people of Israel into the promised land. Have you ever, ever found yourself in the position of being a leader? Maybe the teacher, your teacher has put you in charge of leading your classroom down to the cafeteria. And although that's an honor, that's a big responsibility because it's your job to lead maybe 20 or 25 students in a straight line down all the way to the cafeteria when your classroom is all the way on the other side of the school. But your teacher believes in you and feels that you are the best one for the job. And so while you're honored, sometimes that's a scary place to be because being in a position of leader, it can be pretty lonely and scary and but it's a powerful place too, to be. So many people relying on you to make decisions for what they must do. That's a big responsibility. But as long as you realize that God is always with you and will never leave you and is there to encourage you 
just like Joshua had to lead the Israelites into the promised land. And if you believe and trust in God, you can do it. So we're going to take a look at the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. And I want you to, to make sure to take time this week, today, hopefully, and actually open your Bibles and read the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. And we're going to take a look at a short video version that kind of tells more about those verses in the book of Joshua chapter 1, verse 1 through 18. Hold on while I pull up the video. God's story. Joshua becomes leader. So part of God's story is about when Joshua became leader of God's family, and it goes like this. Remember how God rescued his family when they were stuck as slaves in Egypt? He made a path right through the middle of the Red Sea. He showed them where to go with a pillar of fire at night and a cloud during the day. He gave them water from rocks and sent food like rain every morning. Best of all, he promised to bring them to an amazing new home called Canaan. All they had to do was trust him. But sometimes people have a hard time believing God will take care of them. So for a whole year, God's family worried and complained. They felt like they'd never get to the promised home where they would be safe and comfortable. And even though God was taking care of them every day, they kept worrying that he'd stop. But their leader Moses trusted God with his whole heart. And one day, God told Moses to send 12 men into Canaan as spies to see how great it was. So Moses did. And one of those 12 men was Moses' helper, Joshua. He trusted God too. Well, Joshua and the other spies spent 40 days in Canaan, and they discovered that the new home was as good as God had promised. There was delicious food, water flowed nearby, it was paradise. It had everything God's family needed and wanted. There was just one teeny tiny problem. People lived there already. Big people. Big people who lived in a big city called Jericho that was protected with really big strong walls and the people there did not plan to give up their home. So 10 of the spies came back terrified. They said, we look like grasshoppers compared to the people there. When the rest of God's family heard that, they got scared too. They didn't want to go to the promised land anymore. But Joshua knew that no problem is too big for God. He and another spy named Caleb argued, if the Lord wants to give it to us, he will. After all, God had shown his family how powerful he was. But even though God had always provided for his family, they still chose not to trust him. And because they made that choice, there was a consequence. God kept his whole family in the desert for 39 more years. So long that all the adults who chose not to trust that God could take them to the new land spent the rest of their lives in the wilderness. God kept taking care of them, of course, but life was nothing like it would have been in the promised home. The good news is, there was a blessing for Joshua and Caleb's obedience. They did live long enough to get to Canaan. See, God always keeps his promises. So eventually, he took his family into the promised land, and God chose a new leader to take them there, a guy who would trust him with his whole heart like Moses had. Yep, Joshua. And that's the story of when Joshua became the leader of God's family. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. God took care of his family. He promised them a new home. They had to trust him. 12 spies visited Canaan. People already lived there. Joshua and Caleb trusted God. Most of God's family got scared. God's family stayed in the desert. God kept his promise. Joshua got ready to lead God's family into the promised land. And that's a part of God's story. And here is actually a good place to pause so you can take the time to read the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. The Lord commands Joshua. And so, and after you have read these verses, 
to explore the questions. Who did, who did God select as the next leader after Moses died? And you would be correct if you said Joshua. And where did God tell Joshua to lead the Israelite people? That's right. He told them to lead them into the land God promised to Moses. And would all the Israelites live in the promised land? No, only the Reubenites, the Gadites, and half the tribe of Manasseh were allowed to live in the land Moses gave them east of the Jordan River. And where did God promise? What did God promise Joshua? That's right, he promised that he would never leave Joshua nor forsake him. And that's the same with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. In verse 5, it says, no one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you or forsake you. And what did God, what, number five, what did God expect of Joshua? He expected that jo Joshua should be strong and very courageous in verse seven. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of laws always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. And then you will be prosperous and successful in verse 8. And did the Israelite people accept Joshua as their new leader? Yes, they did. The people told Joshua they would fully obey him just as they had obeyed Moses. And what type of leader did the Israelites want? The people wanted a leader who was strong and courageous. Isn't that the type of leader that we all want? Someone who is strong and courageous and someone who follows God. And what would happen to those who rebelled against Joshua? It said in verse 18, the last verse, whoever rebels against you, against your word, and does not obey it, whatever you command them will be put to death. Only be strong and courageous. That's all they wanted in their leader, was someone who would be strong and courageous and lead them as Moses had led them. Let's take a look at our memory verse for today, which comes from Joshua. The book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9, and that talks all about being courageous. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So when you find yourself in the position of being a leader and you might have fears and surely obstacles will get in your way, just remember be strong and courageous. Don't be frightened. Don't be afraid for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go, whatever you do, as long as you put God first. And here's a catchy um, song to help you remember the memory verse for today. Let's see if I can pull it up and get it started. Remember, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever 
you go. Here we go. Let's see if we can get it started. I think you'll like this and this will help you to remember our memory verse as we go through the week. It's a catchy tune. Hopefully it'll stick with you. Joshua 1 verse 9 Have I not commanded you One verse nine, be strong, strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. For the Lord thy God will always be with you wherever you go. Be strong, strong and courageous. Remember, boys and girls, the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you. Just be strong, strong and courageous. Hopefully that tune and that song will stay with you throughout the days ahead as you press forward and finish the year because the school year is coming to an end quick. So just be strong, strong and courageous and finish strong. So in today's lesson, we learned that God wants us to meditate on his word day and night. We need to be careful to guard our hearts and not depart from what is taught in the Bible. We can make great comfort, take great comfort in knowing that God will never leave us, nor will he forsake those that he loves. Today's lesson also taught us that we can courageously do the task God gives us, no matter the obstacles, that appear to be in our way. And there's always going to be obstacles and things and people that will come up against us, especially in, if you're in the position of being a leader. But just like it said in the song, in our memory verse, be strong, strong and courageous. And that's all I have for you today, boys and girls. So let us pray our closing prayer. Ready? Heavenly Father, we praise you that you have shown yourself faithful to your people throughout all generations. Help us to be strong and courageous in the Lord and to rely on you in all the problems of life that we face, knowing that you are with us wherever we go. We thank you, Lord, for your love we thank you, Lord, for your mercy, and we thank you, Lord, for your grace until we meet again, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Be strong, strong and courageous. 
See you next time, everybody.